Hi, I'm Gary Boitler from the Water Stores Group and I own the water store in Midland, Ontario. Today we're talking about reverse osmosis uh, systems and how they work. Bit of history first. Reverse osmosis uh, was invented by the US Navy to put drinking water on submarines. Now obviously, if any system that can uh, remove the sodium and all the other mineral content from, from seawater and make it into drinking water, it's got to be an incredibly effective system. And that's what reverse osmosis uh, is. So how does it work? Well, first of all, what we have to do is we have to make sure that um, the water that is going into the reverse osmosis system is, is soft, is iron free, and is sulfur free. So that has to be in place before we even think about putting in a reverse osmosis system. The second thing we, we, we need to think about is where we're going to put this system. Now, often they're located underneath the kitchen sink in the cabinets underneath, but if your basement is unfinished, or if at least the ceiling of your basement is unfinished underneath where the kitchen is, quite often we can put the reverse osmosis system in the basement. So there's some options there for installation. So once we've decided where it's going to go, but how does it actually work? Okay, so it starts off, this is connected to the cold water uh, system in your house. And uh, the water comes in at this end so it, of, of the system. Now the first thing that it does, it flows through this filter here. And this is a combination carbon and five micron sediment filter. So what this does, it re the carbon removes chemicals from the water. Chemicals like uh, if you're on municipal uh, water, for example, would likely be chlorine in the water or fluoride, something like that. But also in um, uh, well situations or um, in rural applications, uh, often the chemicals that are in the water are things like herbicides, pesticides, things like that. So that gets removed. And then the five micron sediment filter removes the larger portions of the sediment in the water. Then from there, it goes through another sediment filter, but this is a one micron sediment filter. So it filters it down significantly more. And then from there, the water goes through the membrane. And the membrane is inside this, this housing at the top here. Now, as the water, this is a membrane here, and uh, probably can't see it from um, the camera angle, but um, it looks like a scroll. And this is a, a very um, dense membrane and uh, it's very difficult for the water to get through. So what happens, it filters out all the larger particles um, through this uh, membrane and it gives you high, high quality drinking water. So what happens is the water comes in one end, flows out the other end, but at the same time that the reverse osmosis water is being made, the water that's being um, discharged or the, the water that's um, um, not being used for reverse osmosis, the impure water is, um, is flowing out through a drain line. That's what this line is here. And constantly, all the time that the reverse osmosis water is being made, this membrane is being flushed with water. So it removes all the impurities and flushes it all to the drain. Once um, the reverse osmosis water has been stored in the tank, then it goes from the tank through this last carbon filter here. And the reason for that is because in case it's picked up any odors or there's any little bit of odors in the tank, it removes them from the water at that point. And then it goes to a separate faucet that gets installed at your kitchen sink. And uh, so, so whenever you call for, you open up the faucet here, this is where the reverse osmosis water comes out. Now, if you have a fridge that has a water dispenser and or an ice maker inside it, we can tee into this line and hook it up to your fridge also. And that would give you cold, super pure reverse osmosis water at your fridge, but it would also give you really clear ice cubes. And when those ice cubes melt, you won't get that white, horrible stuff at the bottom of your glass because it's incredibly pure water. And that's the reverse osmosis process. If you like what you saw today, please check out our website at waterstoresgroup.com. And again, I'm Gary Boitler from the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Thanks for watching.